Okay, so we're going to machine this down for this length to 12mm for threading. Let's make some chips. That's a 3mm cut. Nineteen, so we want to bring it down to just under twelve, so another seven. I'm at twelve eighty, and I want to end up at eleven eighty, so I'll take off another mill. By the machinery's handbook, that is bang on, just under 12 mil. They've got 12, 11.966 to 11.701. So we'll leave it there. We'll do an undercut here, and then we'll set up for threading. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, let's set up for threading. Before I start cutting my left hand thread, I have no way of measuring the pitch with a nut. I normally, with right hand thread, just because it's for the home workshop, I'll cut the right hand thread and then I'll use a nut. I'll just screw a nut on it and once that fits I'm pretty good. Or I'll use the nut for the job. With the left hand thread I don't have any left hand nuts, so I'm going to have to cut the thread first and then I'll make the nut to fit the thread because I can't measure an internal thread with what I've got but I can measure the specs of an external left hand thread with my wire gauges so let's just have a little look at what we're going to do so here's our I'm using an old machinist handbook 22nd edition and I'm on the metric threading gauge um, tables and we're going to cut an M12 by 1.75 and I'm going to use the 6G spec so um, we're going to work on our pitch diameter to work back to the outside of my thread with my wire gauges so it says I have a maximum pitch diameter of 10.8 829 and a minimum of 10.679 so our pitch diameter which is if you look at the the pitch of the thread pitch the pitch diameter is in here not at the bottom, it's not at the top, so that's our pitch diameter. And this and our machinery handbook says we have a maximum of 10.829 millimeters and a minimum of 
six, seven, nine. Now with our wire, our thread measuring set, you come with a little instruction. Oh there we go, there's even a better picture. So this is our E, E, pitch diameter. So you can see there quite nicely. So we go from our pitch diameter, we put our wires in, and then we measure over the wires. So this is giving us a maximum and a minimum what we can do once we've been threading, and we can check as we go. And this has a constant for that size, 1.75, and our constant is 1.5324. So I'm going to add that to these. 1.5324 and 1.5324 4, 9, 11, 7, 11 So we have a minimum of 12.114 So this is millimetres. So I'm going to have a maximum of 12.36 and a minimum of 12.1. So that is when I measure over my cut thread with my wires in. And that's using the figures from the machinery handbook. So we'll go and carry on cutting and when we're close we'll start measuring and once we're in between these, in between those two figures, we know we've got the thread cut to the right size and we can use for any left hand bolt that's cut to that same grade. Right, let's go back to the lathe. Okay, our thread pitch is bang on, which is good.
don't know if you can... 12.61 and we want we want between 12.3 and 12.1 so we still 12.36 and we're 12.6 so I've got to take a little bit more off Twelve point two eight. So we're bang in the middle of our what we need. So that's it done. We're just a little tidy up in here. Perfect. It's a bit of a clean up on the, I gave it a file up and then a, and then a clean up on the buffing wheel. So we will put that in our chuck. So now, this edge can be trued up, we'll true up this edge, this edge, bore it, drill it, um, and then I will run the left hand threads in the nut, and that way the threads are perpendicular to this back face. It's the only way to get it true. And the only way I could actually measure the left hand thread inside was by making the spindle first, and I'll make it fit to this.
So I've got my threading bar set up. And I've checked that my lead screw and my chuck are running in the opposite direction. So now I'm cutting a left hand thread and I'm going to cut from chuck to tailstock. Let's go. It's okay, but I probably could have should have stopped at that first spring pass. It's good, don't get me wrong, but I just think I should have stopped at that first spring pass. to mount this in here, oh, left hand thread again, machine these two together and machine the thread on that, but I'll have to, so I'll machine this off very carefully because this is just going to undo as soon as it hits the, come down it's going to hit the undo. So I'm going to lightly machine these to the same size and then I will put it into the chuck and then machine that off. So I've given this a bit of a clean up I've put my mark on where I'm going to turn to so I've got my two shoulders and I'll turn this down to 10mm and then I can tap the end of it so it can fit into the spindle and this is a right hand thread so we're just going to whack it off to there down to 10mm Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen at all. Okay, that was a right muck up, cock up. I had forgot to move it in to the chuck and it was only relying on the left hand thread holding it which unwound. Um, this is beyond repair. So I'll have to make a new one of those. The nut, which is where it pulled out of the chuck, I'll just machine that down to a smaller hex that I can save and I don't have to redo that left hand thread because that's fine but that part I think we will make a new one just not thinking eh if I'd have moved it that 10mm into the chuck to machine that off it wouldn't have unwound because it would have been held by the chuck anyways that's how it goes so off camera I'm going to go and repair this then I'll make a new one of these, I won't make another one, I won't video making another one. So you will come back when I've made a new one of those and when I've fixed this. Okay, back from disaster. So I've finished this off, I milled it down, it actually worked out quite well. I've milled it down to a 24mm um, nut so it fits nicely. 
tidied it up on the lathe, so we're all good there, so that's the same one. This is a new piece. So back to where we were, this time we'll put this in and hold it with the chuck. I'm actually going to hold it here and turn this down, turn this down and then we should be good to go. We hope. Well, here's the finished article. That was a lot of work for such a small little um, spindle. Would I do it again? Not sure. Not sure. It used a lot of material and um, a lot more than it should have because of the way I crashed it. The plus was that I got to use my new lathe and turning a left hand thread, um, single pointing it, and that was great fun. I'll take you over and show you where it's going to go on my large sander and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for coming along, I really appreciate you spending your time in the workshop with me.